Welcome to PGCast, a production of HashRocket. I'm Jake Worth. In this episode, I'm going to add a not null constraint to an existing column in Postgres. Check out this users table. We have two columns, a full name and an admin flag. The Rails app that touches this database expects that these two values will never be null. If they are, computers around the world will burst into flames. Our Rails devs have accomplished this feat by adding active record presence validations on the user model. So, the values can never be null, right? Wrong. While we've been talking, a rogue developer has logged into PSQL, and hacking is underway. In this PSQL session, my nulls are skulls. What does it mean if an admin flag is null? Does that mean they aren't an admin? Here we can see why not null database constraints are important. Even if we could prevent people from inserting null data directly from SQL, the database still allows it. Someday, other applications will interact with this database too. And we'll have to tell each of these apps about the constraint, or they won't honor it. The database should be a single source of truth about what kind of data it will and won't allow. Unfortunately, we have existing data, and if we try to just add the constraint, we'll get this error. Right, those null values. What we need to do first is an update statement. I've chosen a default of false. Usually you can come up with something that's better than null. Now the nulls are gone. Time to add our migration. We're also going to add a default that matches our update statement. This will protect us from bad data. Now things are looking a lot better. Rails devs may be wondering how to implement this constraint on existing data using active record. There are several ways to achieve this. At Hashrocket, we write a lot of active record migrations in plain old SQL. That's something we plan to cover in a future episode. To sum up, protect your database from nulls early and you will have better data. Thanks for watching.